Good morning, boys and girls and adults too. Uh, a couple of days from now is a day we call Good Friday. It's the day that we remember that Jesus died on the cross. So why do we call such a terrible event, Jesus is being killed up on the cross, why do we call it Good Friday? There's two main reasons. On Jesus' last night with his disciples, he told them that he was going to go to his father's house in heaven. And when he went up to that father's house, he was going to prepare a place uh, for all of his children and that he would come back and take them up to heaven. So Jesus had to die on the cross in order to rise from the grave and show us that heaven is real and that we're going to live with God forever. The other reason uh, is Philip and Thomas, a couple of Jesus' disciples, they doubted Jesus. And, and Philip said to Jesus, just show us the Father, Jesus. And Jesus said, Philip, you've been with me all this time. Don't you know that when you see me, you see the Father? Jesus is saying uh, that whenever anybody looked at Jesus, they saw God. Jesus was filled with love and mercy and goodness and peace. And that is what God is like. And so up on the cross, when Jesus was dying, his Father was there with him. And when Jesus said, Father, forgive the ones who put me up on the cross, for they don't know what they are doing, Jesus is saying um, that God takes in everything that the world throws at God. All of the bad things, God takes it into himself on the cross, and God continues to love us, and God forgives us. So boys and girls, remember that God is never going to stop loving you, that all of the bad things are going to be taken up into God and swallowed and, and brought to death. When Jesus died, he brought all of the bad things to death and he destroyed them there. So remember that God wants to take all of the bad things from you and, and just fill you with love and goodness. That's the meaning of the cross. God's never going to stop loving you. Remember it always. We love you too.